Hey, good morning. I'll try to answer any questions that you guys have uh, right now. Uh, you mentioned last night that y'all have been at this house before for previous calls and that y'all found guns and they were confiscated and then later returned. Do you have any more information about the nature of why they were, were returned? We're not even sure on what the law is when they're confiscated for a call like this. I don't have the specifics for that. I do know that uh, that stemmed from a call back in 2017 uh, where those uh, guns were surrendered to us and they were subsequently returned to him in April of 2019. Uh, that's really all the information I have on it at this time. What can you say about you know, the gear that these officers were wearing? It's really incredible that they walked away with you know, minor injuries, they're all doing okay. That's really amazing. The, the great thing about these officers and the way they responded and the tactics that they used, they're all SWAT trained. So they utilized a ballistic shield. Each of them were wearing their uh, armor plating, uh, which is rated for rifle rounds. Uh, and that is really, really what uh, allowed them to basically escape with minor injuries. Can you detail the, can you detail how the suspect surrendered and also when he fired upon the officers, how close were the officers? Had they approached the home? Was it from afar? Were they trying to get in? Uh, I'll speak to the gunfire exchange first. Uh, at this time, we don't know exactly where he was inside the residence when he fired upon our officers. Uh, we just know that it was a, a large number of rounds uh, that came, came their way uh, that they took. Um, as for him surrendering, uh, after the FBI uh, initiated the tear gas inside the residence. Uh, he came out, hands up, um, and, and basically followed their commands and uh, was taken into custody without incident. You said y'all used a robot. Uh, what does the robot just provide a visual that's able to get inside the house or near the house? How's the robot? Yes, sir. That, that's uh, what it's used for by our tactical teams. They send that robot in in an uh, effort to see the inside of the residence and kind of figure out what, where the suspect that is at and what he's doing. Uh, at that point, we didn't really know um, what condition the suspect was in, uh, so we were trying to get that intel, and that's the reason why we sent in the robot. During the conversations with the crisis negotiators, was he communicating back? Did he give any reason, or even did his wife give any indication what prompted this whole episode? Uh, no, not at this time. Uh, and we, we don't have uh, any information on that. I, it, there was very little communication with our crisis negotiating team. He did exit the residence uh, a few times throughout the night and yell some things at the officers that were on the perimeter. Uh, but so far as true engagement between the crisis negotiation team and the suspect, we didn't really, he, he didn't really allow us that. Possible charges he will be, he'll be facing? Uh, we don't know for sure at this time. Uh, we have an idea, but until he's booked into the jail, uh, we'll withhold that. But we will release that uh, once he's booked into the jail. Yes, sir. Have you said his, uh, his age? He's uh, 60 years old. Did the FBI and or the ATF have an active case on him? And, and is that why the FBI was involved fairly early in this? Or? Not to my knowledge. Uh, the FBI was just there to support uh, our, our uh, department, um, and, and that's something that they do uh, throughout the Metroplex, and we were definitely uh, appreciative of, of them coming out and showing support for us. When he was taken into custody, sorry. when he was taken into custody, did he say anything to the officers, or was he just compliant? Not to my knowledge, ma'am. I, I wasn't out on the scene, so I don't know for sure, uh, but not to my knowledge situation like this where this subject has had a similar call like this before, is there any kind of monitoring or even follow up with this, this family or this home to make sure that situations don't get out of control like this since there is that past history? Uh, I'm actually glad you uh, brought that up. Uh, from the initial call, we had a de detective assigned to the case and she spent uh, months following up with that family uh, to try and get uh, than the help that they needed uh, to keep uh, the problems from e escalating. And we've continued to be in contact with them and tried to provide uh, them with the best assistance that, that we could. Unfortunately, it did end up uh, how it did today. Will he be allowed to keep his guns again? What's the standard procedure when something like this happens? That's not something I can comment on right now. 
but you do have different protocols when uh, when mental issues might be involved. And at what point did you you know just um, adhere to following those protocols? In regards to well, I mean, I guess the, the wife told you fairly early on what you were dealing with, right? So. Do you, do you have a separate set of protocols to deal with a situation like that? Uh, just uh, basic uh, basic tactics. I mean, obviously we knew that weapons were in play, which is the reason why we had SWAT trained officers uh, going up to try and, and contact him. Uh, and, and that's the reason why we set a perimeter to make sure that our residents were safe at the same time because we knew that uh, weapons were in play. So that's the reason why we utilized the tactics that we did and uh, we did our absolute best to keep our residents safe. What kind of gun did he use and how many shots were fired at police? I don't have that information at, the, at this time. Okay. Is that all? I think so. All right. Thank, thank you all very much for helping us. We appreciate it. Thank you. Will there be any uh, further updates? Yes, sir. Uh, as we uh, go throughout the day, we're just trying to make sure uh, we, we handle this process and this investigation the correct way. Uh, as we're able to release information, we will continue to do so. Uh, we'll utilize our social media, and then we also have y'all's contact information. We'll be pushing that out to y'all also. Are the, are the neighbors allowed back in their homes now? I think so. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't want to co uh, comment on that yet. That was something I was going to check on right after the uh, press conference. Are there flash bangs and uh, tear gas or just tear gas? All I know right now is, is tear gas. Okay. 